Okay, guys, if, um, if you want to know how to build one and how to completely wire this thing up, I've got lots of other videos that show how to do that. The only difference is, is this is just a different thermostat, that's all. Mounted in a little different spot, wired up a little bit different. So if you want to see how to get to that point of how I build them using light bulbs as a heat source, you can look. I'll post several links here to the videos that will cover that. Then, um, then you can come back and I'll show you how to wire in this thermostat. So here we go. Hey there guys, Wade Rush, Rush Lane Poultry and Game Birds, RushLanePoultry.com. Um, it seems that the wiring diagram I posted is, is confusing to some, so uh, I'm going to do a little quick video right here. All this little digital thermostat is doing is taking the place of the thermostat. No matter what kind of thermostat you're using, if it's a hot water heater thermostat or if it's a GQF wafer thermostat or whatever kind of thermostat, all this is doing is taking the place of the thermostat. It is a 12 volt DC. So I'm going to show you how to wire that up, so we'll be right back. You are going to need an AC to DC inverter, 120 volt AC to 12 volt DC, or at least 12 volt DC. 12 to 13 volt DC will be okay, because uh, you're going to need that to power up your thermostat. Actually, all of my incubators, I put a PC fan in them anyway, so I've got this 12-volt inverter on, I'm already mounted on the box anyway. So I'm going to show you how to tie it in and power up your thermostat. Okay, good folks. This, uh, this thermostat, as you can see, it is in, uh, in Celsius. And 37.5 degrees Celsius is 99.5 degrees Fahrenheit. There's only four wire junctions on this entire controller. These two right here, where the black wires are, these two black wires are the wires that go to the 12 volt DC inverter that is hanging on the back of the incubator that I just showed you. 120 volt AC to 12 volt DC inverter. These are the two wires coming from the inverter. It drives this controller and the fan. The, um, the PC fan. We just spliced in two more wires right here. We spliced in two more wires that run from the connectors to the fan from the inside of the box to the controller here. So this controller is wired directly to this this side right here is on the controller is, is kind of tough to read because the, the print is really small. Let me see if I can get it zoomed up far enough to where you can see it. arm was getting in the shadow of my light here trying to be creative here with the camera angles okay you see the 12 volt you can see the 12 volt uh, in right over these two connectors right here 12 volt you see 12 volt positive right here and ground G N D right over here so this is the positive side coming from your inverter usually colored in white and the you'll have two wires one will have white stripes on it and or a long white stripe and the other one will be solid black you connect the solid black to this side one with the white stripe to this side but don't, no worries if it don't work that way try it the other way if it doesn't work when you hook your two wires up swap the wires around hook them up again and it uh, it will run one way and it won't run the other if you hook them up wrong it just won't run so if you hook them up right, then it will run. The other two wires here go to your light bulbs on the inside. And I've covered that with, uh, with all my other build videos. All you're doing is this is in place of the water heater thermostat or the wafer thermostat or whatever thermostat you've got on there. You would, these are the two wires that would be going to any of those other thermostats. You just take them and hook them up here to this little unit right there. Okay, guys? And this plug right here, that's your temperature probe, of course. And I run it through the same hole where the thermostat wires come out. And we have it. You want it fastened about right at the height where the egg's going to be in your box. Right there. Okay, guys, this is Wade Rush, Rush Lane Poultry and Game Birds, RushLanePoultry.com. Hope this helped you out wiring up a 12 volt DC digital temperature controller. Alright, we'll be back with another one soon. Bye-bye.